So, uh, finally found the email. Of the video that, uh, <coughs> YouTube says has hate speech on it. <laughs> See, it, it, it's all right for the Israelis to, uh, start a war. No, I mean, I'm indigenous, you know, I, I, I'm not pissed off at the fucking white people. I'm not pissed off at black people, Mexicans, Asians. No, I'm pissed off at my own fucking race. It was maybe like, um, 2004, 2005. Yeah, I looked into the tribes of, uh, <coughs> the state my mom and grandma's from, the history of all of them. Which ones were federally recognized because they snitched on another tribe that just got fucking wiped out? I tried to inform others that a uh, Jew man wanted my uh, race exterminated. I tried to use the more politically correct words. <clears throat> and I still got violated as a uh, hate speech removed.
There was a tribe in the state of California that got de-recognized. <clears throat> I would have made a big fuss about it too. Because this happened during a Trump's term. But uh, California is a blue state. Do you indigenous people understand that? If Trump was really coming after the indigenous population, <clears throat> don't you think he would have started with the red states? Getting rid of all the indigenous people from the red states, forcing them to either move to Canada or a blue state? I used to say shit out of ignorance, <clears throat> you know, I mean, I mean, part of the reason why I wanted to live in my home village and be a commercial fisherman for the rest of my life is because it was a simple lifestyle. Didn't have to worry about such a big ass fucked up community. <laughs> I mean, even before that, I believe it was uh, during Obama's last term. A family in California got a decolonized from the tribal lifestyle. It was forced to live in a colonized white town. <clears throat> And I believe, I'm not totally sure, but I guess it was, uh, blood quantum? I'm not sure. It, it, it's been that long since I, it, it could have been the beginning stages of Trump's time, though, too, but I don't know. His... <clears throat>
I mean, <clears throat> if I didn't find the manosphere, you know, I'd probably still be one of those type of savages, you know, they just. Even if a, a white man, a black man, Mexican man did try to spit some uh, mental philosophy, <clears throat> I'm like, yeah, you know, that's feminist shit that, that doesn't have to deal with me right now. Still dealing with the problems of my own race. <clears throat> I, I still would have been mentally closed off like that. I mean, what, what's the reason for uh, indigenous women not wanting uh, DNA testing before enrolling the child to the tribe? Hmm? <clears throat> I mean, even the government said, uh, if you don't have at least a quarter indigenous blood of the tribe you're trying to enroll, or at least a quarter to be adopted, <clears throat> uh, I'm 40. And there's indigenous females in their mid-30s and younger. They're all pissed off that some tribes do do DNA testing and you got to be at least quarter. You got to be at least a quarter to be enrolled to a tribe. Part of the reason why uh, feminists can't let race go is because of the DNA testing of some tribes. And then there's the other reason. They don't want to be held accountable for their actions. So they'll blame another race.
Back in 2012, when I was homeless, you know, being around other homeless people, other homeless indigenous, <clears throat> them white strangers, like, you Filipino? I'm like, no. Are you Asian? No. Are you Mexican? No. The fuck are you then? Like, you know, I'm Native American, Alaskan Native. Oh, you're one of those guys who ain't supposed to lie. You're supposed to always be honest, huh? Like, yeah, that's what's in the history books, you know? I'm like, oh, okay. And they'll be like, um, do you remind me of a guy that other indigenous people were talking about? I'm like, yeah. Tell me who you heard it from and I'll tell you who they're related to and how they may or may not be related to me and why they don't fucking like me. See, uh, on my grandma's tribe, uh, I guess, elders? You make it to elder status. I guess you get a monthly tribal check. I mean, yeah, it's a small tribe and it's not poor, but indigenous people there. Yeah, they have a culture thing, you know, it's called Smokehouse. They got another couple other religions there that they... Just like Smokehouse, their culture is treated like another type of religion, you know, I mean, same type of fucking social structure mentality. You know, just out of the fucking Bible, one thing that's always constant in there, in the Bible, that's always being said is being judgmental. Judgment, judgment day. It's all that was repeated in that fucking Bible. <laughs> it, it, it's, a, it's a good mantra book, man. You, you fucking repeat those words over and over and over and over. It helps you get brainwashed. But, you know, I, I was being accused. And. I said, well. If you look around all this area. I mean, where, where I was homeless at. And there's CCTV all over the place. Yeah, I said, aside from what they're trying to accuse me of, they are forgetting this town has CCTV. And at the times I'm being accused of doing something... I guarantee you, you'll, you'll see me walking in front of a camera somewhere. And I said, well, we're, we're supposed to just trust you by your word. I'm like, well, 
You trusted them by their word, and yet, when it's daytime, you walk around, you see how many CCTVs are up and out there. And then you go and try and accuse someone doing something that's, you know, got CCTV as an alibi. But it is what it is, you know? And I tried to upload that comment of what that Jew said to YouTube and YouTube wouldn't allow it. I tried to speak on what that Jew said and YouTube said that's hate speech. <clears throat> TikTok doesn't consider it hate speech. I mean, FB already took it down. Fuck all, all my accounts. All my new accounts are actually fucking done in again. You know, I have to make new accounts again. You know, the majority of the indigenous population aren't going to be on fucking Rumble or Parlor. They're not. So I'm pretty sure if they were, they, they'd probably run into a lot of people who will help fucking solve a lot of problems. They don't want to run into those type of people. I, I, I've tried to choose peace over violence. I've tried to choose understanding over ignorance. But, uh, yeah. I won't be a part of the manosphere anymore because...
as much as I do have the support of them to not be violent. The internet is forever, you know, I mean, if I get caught doing some stupid, you know, that... Oh, look, he, he made videos uh, tied to uh, the Manosphere. Yeah, he's made sure they're a terrorist group now. Yeah, well, a Jew man told me he wants my race exterminated. I tried to expose that. What happened to the Jews in biblical times? What are they still doing to make people fucking hate them? Yeah, I know that there are some people in some races out there, oh, we don't have to do nothing to make someone hear us. Yeah, that's a fact. But when there's an indigenous woman out there making false claims, you know, being a false MMIW, especially an indigenous woman with the history of our people supposedly being honest because it's in the history books. Oh, man, I just, you know, if There are actual fucking victims out there. Man, it just...
She needs to be put in prison. For life. Make an example of her. But they won't because of feminism. Tired of indigenous feminists talking about white privilege when we got a fucking indigenous woman who lied about being an MMIW and none of you want her in prison for fucking making false claims, false reports. Yeah, that's white privilege right there. Whole lot of it. You fucking colonizers. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna really get fucking baked out, man. Man, I just. She's not gonna get sent to prison. That's fucked up. It is. <laughs>